Is the idea of playing a funky, slightly deeper cut keyboard part for sound checks specifically to impress everyone on stage a ridiculously vain idea? Yes, but I know keyboard players do it too. It's not just bass players. I see you guys over there. You wanna play something to let everyone know it's gonna be a good gig? I get it. We did one of these for bass and today I'm happy to introduce my friend Andrew Reyes to help me do the same thing for keys. All right, here's the qualifications for this list. It's gotta be a good keyboard line, obviously, but it can't be too sparse since we're sound checking. We don't want the engineer to be like, okay, keep going, please. We're also gonna stay away from the most obvious stuff. Like, don't stop believing? Oh, we'll tell you what, do stop playing that. Uh, okay, how about for Elise? For real, not that either. Uh, what about that Adele song everyone loves? Oh, never mind, I'll find someone like you. Yeah, that's the one. No, no, I mean, you're fired, you can get out. I'll get someone else to do this video, thanks. Also, while all of these lines are funky, they're not necessarily funk. We've got some soul, some neo-soul, a few that you know, and one deep cut that if you know, you know. You know what I mean, Andrew? Hey, I was kidding, get back here, we got work to do. Speaking of, here's our first song. This song was released in 1972. I love this one because it plays a good range of the piano and the groove feels so good. It makes everyone on stage want to join in. You got this one, Andrew? Man, that line's so good. It's better than good. Great. Maybe even outstanding. Speaking of which, that reminds me of our next song, Outstanding by the Gap Band. Boom! Whatever, man. That was a solid transition. Come on. Second song on the list is Outstanding by the Gap Band. 1982, so funky. Uncle Charlie holding it down. Let's see what you got. This really needs a back piece. Elements of this song have been sampled many times, but my favorite is the 1993 Shaquille O'Neal song, I'm Outstanding. The crazy thing is Shaq has multiple albums and a best of album. And in 1993, his debut album, Shaq Diesel, features Fife Dog from A Tribe Called Quest and Foo Schnickens, which, does that make Shaq part of the native tongues? Uh, yeah, maybe you should have included him in the last video. Uh, I, maybe I should have. I mean, there's just so many Native Tongues members, I keep forgetting. Da, 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 da. The next song on the list is the Michael McDonald classic, I Keep Forgetting. This song is a great sound check song because it's a two for one deal. It's the 1982 Michael McDonald song, but it was also sampled for the Warren G song Regulate from 1994, but also it's similar enough to the 1962 Chuck Jackson song, I Keep Forgetting, that Michael had to give the writers credit on his song. So you're casting a wide net here. Three different decades, radically different interpretations of this song, and you're bound to catch someone's ear on stage. <laughs> Sorry, is that the original key? I keep forgetting how you made it so Okay, so yeah, great. I keep forgetting. All right, man. Just keep it to keys, all right? I know you actually sing, but the sound engineer, he just wants keys, all right? Just, I know you think you're hip, but you're not, okay? I'm here to tell you that Don't actually you not. ain't hip. Our next keyboard sound check song is the Don Blackman song, You Ain't Hip. This is one of the funkiest songs maybe ever. This is from the self-titled Don Blackman album from 1982. He's from the Jamaica Queen scene from the early 80s, along with Bernard Wright and Tom Brown. In the bass soundcheck video, we had some lines from the other guys, but I couldn't find one from Don that filled up space enough for soundcheck. So for this one, we're going with You Ain't Hip. It's so funky, and if you know it, you for sure want to join in after hearing it. This song is really empty and sparse, huh? I want to say a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now is the perfect time to invest in yourself. With a Skillshare membership, you can engage in your hobbies and passions all year long. It's the perfect way to start and finally keep your resolutions for the new year. Skillshare has hundreds of classes on music production, video editing, and career-focused classes too. The new year is the perfect time to reinvent your goals and yourself. 
I was interested in joining Skillshare in order to get better at piano myself, so I took the Level Up in Piano Music Composition and Improvisation class by Elijah Fox Peck. In it, he breaks down creating chord progressions, patterns and inversions, blues scales, and a lot more. This is gonna help me get better at piano, help me grow in my own musical journey, and maybe be able to play some of the piano lines from this video. Make 2023 the year you finally learn your new hobby, land a new career, or launch your business. Try out a risk-free 30-day trial to test it out for yourself. The first 1,000 people to use the first link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. I love this 80s Jamaica Queen scene so much, it just makes you want to move. You mean it makes you want to shake your body? Yes, this is what I'm talking about. All right, next song on the list is Shake Your Body by the Jacksons. This is another one of those songs that takes up a decent range of the piano. The bassist is doubling the piano's left hand and the guitar is pretty simple. The groove here is mostly from the piano. Shake Your Body was released by the Jacksons in 1978. This was during the stretch between the Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson's solo work. The Jackson 5 had left Motown, moved to Epic Records, but Motown kept the name, so they were just the Jacksons after that. Of course, in 1979, we have the release of Off the Wall, but before that, we have Shake Your Body, which is basically a Michael feature. It's not that deep of a cut, but deeper than Thriller or like, I want you back. Yeah, all that Jackson stuff from back in the day is so good. Yeah, man, it really is. No, 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 so... back in the day. Oh, right, sorry, you keep me on my toes. Okay, the next song is Back in the Day by Erica Badu. This is from Erica's 2003 album, Worldwide Underground. This is one of her most well-known songs, so if you play this at Soundcheck, you'll probably get some people recognizing it, but if not, it's still funky and the perfect Soundcheck song. I was looking up different live versions of this song and discovered that one of Erica Badu's first TV appearances was All That in 1997. She's not doing this song, but that's just another reason why All That was so great. Man, I loved that show. I lived for that show. Really? Because I was living. No, 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 no. I'm already setting it up, man. Come on. Man, that father said that. Stole my transition, man. All right. Anyway, the next song is Living for the City by Stevie Wonder. This is another one of those songs where Stevie played every instrument that you hear, which is crazy. This is off the 1973 album Inner Visions. It's a slightly deeper cut Stevie song, and it's so good. Not only the main keyboard groove, but you also got to hit the line at the end of the chorus. That's so good. You know, some people are living for the city, some for the state or the country. Duh, don't. This is so dumb. Yeah, but some, what about a continent like? Africa. Nailed it. Next on the list, we've got the song Africa. Oh, by D'Angelo. Oh, I don't, I don't know that song. Dude. Come on, I sent you the list. What are you? Yeah, yesterday. Come on, man. Okay. Well, Africa by D'Angelo. This is from his 2000 album Voodoo. I call it the kind of blue of neo soul. I've talked about the Soulquarians a bunch, but this album is incredible. This song specifically is inspired by the Prince song "I Wonder You Off Parade." Basically, D'Angelo and Questlove made their own summer camp, listening to some of their favorite records all day, playing around with them, trying to create music that channeled those same ideas. This is the last song on Voodoo and it's such a great closer. It's too bad that we don't have it for this video. All right, we got a couple more funky keyboard lines for you. Andrew, what you got? I don't know what's next. You gotta have something if you wanna uh, be with this me. Is this is bad. The next song is Nothing From Nothing by Billy Preston. Billy Preston got his start as a backing keyboardist for artists like Little Richard, Sam Cooke, Ray Charles, The Beatles, and The Rolling Stones before his work as a solo artist where he had a lot of great songs, including the number one hit from 1974, Nothing From Nothing.
This song is completely piano driven. I love it so much. All right, Andrew, just a couple more. Coming in here hot at the end. Why don't you drop it at the exact temperature that I just mentioned? Oh my gosh. All right, this is actually so short that maybe it shouldn't be on the list because it's a very short synth line, but regardless, this is from Drop It Like It's Hot by Snoop Dogg from 2004, produced by the Neptunes. Yeah, I saw an interview with Pharrell a few years ago and he actually said that that psh, 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 sound on uh, Drop It Like It's Hot is actually a can of compressed air, which is just further proof that you can turn literally anything into music. Is that proof or is that just what a fool believes? All right, man. Like mine are bad, but that is like, okay, look, whatever. Let's get into it. What a fool believes by the Doobie Brothers. This is a classic song from a band in which no one is brothers and no one's last name is Doobie. But we're back to Michael McDonald. The man has a gift. I don't know what to say. What a fool believes is from 1979. It hit number one and won two Grammys. I got a crazy story about this one. It was written by Michael McDonald and Kenny Loggins, but Kenny Loggins released his own version before the Doobie Brothers. Then the Doobie Brothers sat down to record it, but it wasn't feeling quite right, so producer Ted Templeman ended up playing drums on it along with Keith Knudsen. Knudsen? Knudsen. Knudsen. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. Trying to give it a more, quote, floppy feel. It was hard to get a good take though, so to the band's horror, Ted Templeman cut up the tape and combined a few different takes to get a good one. They took it to the label, still sure that the song was nothing, but the label loved it and the rest is history. Whichever keyboard part you choose to play for Soundcheck, make it a good one. It doesn't have to be one of these, so drop a comment below and let me know your favorite keyboard Soundcheck line. Thank you so much to Andrew Reyes for stopping by and playing all of these lines for us. Check out the Spotify link in the description for the playlist of every song mentioned in this video. And then if you play bass or if you know someone who does, check out this video for funky bass lines that you can play in Soundcheck.